Hi, welcome to this Lightroom tutorial from tdcat.com. As far as I'm aware, there's no way in Lightroom to export images to multiple directories at once. And also, there's no way to daisy chain export presets. Uh, so you couldn't set up a preset to export it to one directory and another preset to export it to a second directory and then run both of them together. So I'm going to get straight down to it and say, what's my problem here? Well, this, let's say this photo, I want to export this to a directory on my desktop because I want to have it available simply on my desktop to transfer to my phone and things like that. I also want to export it to two shared Dropbox directories. And so really I want this photo to go into three places at once. Now if I go to export in Lightroom, the export thing, I've got various... Um, various presets set up here and this is the one where I want it. this one takes it to my desktop so what I decided to do was use something in Lightroom which is kind of not sort of generally utilized too much It's a post-processing action and what you can do in Lightroom if you go to the post-processing and go to the export actions folder it opens up a folder opens up an explore window for you and you've got export actions and you can actually put in here essentially any file that can be run within the operating system so any file that's recognized to open and run with a particular program or something that is the equivalent of that which is a sort of batch file so that's what I've done here I've got a batch file and I'll show you that batch file now and it's very very simple all it does is it looks in a particular directory, which is that directory that I've just encoded the, um, just uh, exported the file to. It lists everything in date order, so the um, newest file will be at the bottom. It strips anything else off apart from the file name, so it just does a bare listing of file names, and uh, only lists JPEG files. Are you, you could actually take that off. And it sets a variable. It actually sets the variable every single time for every file, and the, but then it gets to the last one, and then that becomes the variable used in the next bit. So it sets the variable here. Then it moves on to the next stage, and all it does is a copy, ignoring any overwrite, um, sorry, just uh, ignoring any problems and just overwriting as necessary. And it copies it from the directory specified here, which again you could set as a variable to make it a little bit simpler to update, and copies it to my Dropbox folder. So we've got one photos, uh, one photos of um, Miles for our, for my parents, and then we got one photo, one one shared folder for my uh, for my par partner's parents. It's, it's it's all about the kids at the moment. So it's really really straightforward to do. So all you need is to put that file in your export actions folder. So if I go to this folder again, and we've got a, all we've got in there is latest.bat, which is the name of the file, the batch file. And now if I take this preset and so after export, you, if you restart Lightroom, you won't actually not have to restart it, I haven't tried that. You've got the name of the file name there. So you've got latest. So what that'll do is run that batch file after it's done this export. So all that does is it processes this photo, reduces it in size, goes through the uh, JPEG Mini optimization, and then copies that file across to those two directories with that batch file. It's a really simple way of doing it and uh, very customizable. I mean, there's not much messing around. The script is dead straightforward, but I will put it, um, uh, I will put it online so you can uh, download it if you want to, and uh, you can use this address here to do that. But I just thought I'd quickly talk through that because it's a really nice sort of neat way of achieving something that should be a lot more straightforward in, um, in Lightroom, I think. It'd just be nice if you could bundle up directories here or alternatively just say I want to run this and then run this and run this. So I've actually set up a separate preset here so I can still export it to one if I want, but a separate one here which says JPEG Mini and Dropbox that already has this file ready to run. Straightforward as that. I hope that's helpful to you. If you've got any uh, questions or comments, get back to me and let me know. Thank you. Bye.